So now let us look at how data is inserted in a data warehouse environment. This typically means uh, working with uh, a large number of rows. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is to uh, look at what data I have in the data warehouse. And uh, if I look at the latest view for the dish, I can see that there is currently two dishes in the data warehouse. Uh, I've also simulated some uh, source data here uh, that we want to add to the data warehouse and uh, if you look at it you can see that there's uh, eight rows and there are some dishes here that uh, we haven't seen before in the data warehouse uh, as well as a new prize for uh, this uh, Rigatoni al Polo dish that uh, is also not in the data warehouse. So, um, in order to uh, help out with the surrogate key generation, we have uh, created a stored procedure uh, that you can use to check out a number of uh, keys uh, from the anchor. Uh, so, the first thing I'm going to do here is to uh, alter my source table and add two columns, uh, one for the dish identities and another column uh, in which I'm going to indicate whether this uh, identity uh, is already known or if I have to create a new one. So I add these columns and if we uh, look at the source table again you can see that uh, there's uh, two new columns with null values. So in the first step I'm going to update the uh, and, and set the identity uh, for those that are already known and to do so I need to join with the natural key in the data warehouse and in this case the natural key is the dish name so I'm gonna see are there any dishes uh, that I've seen before uh, so this update just uh, looks at that and sets the IDs uh, for those so at least a few of them should have gotten IDs now and as you can see that uh, Rigatoni Al Polo and Tiramisu uh, got their IDs which were one and two and uh, I've flagged all of these as uh, known also so in the next step we need to know now how many new keys uh, will I have to check out from the anchor and as you can see here uh, we need to look at the dish name and unique dish names so uh, I have a select statement here that is uh, counting the uh, distinct names uh, to count the number of keys that we need. Uh, I then use this uh, stored procedure that I was talking about which is uh, this one. Uh, it's uh, the same name uh, as the anchor with uh, prepended with a K. So um, this will check out the number of needed keys that we calculated uh, together with the metadata uh, ID here and I insert the results into a table uh, variable and then I use this table variable um, what I do is I do another update uh, of the source data and um, I join these IDs that I've created um, with uh, the source data uh, and I have to join on something and uh, I want to join it so that both of these uh, bruschetta items get the same key so I use the windowed function called dense rank here uh, on the source data uh, and on the, the these IDs are unique so here I can use the window function row number and then uh, the join is simply to join the uh, key number in both of these uh, tables uh, so if I run this last part uh, as here we will uh, associate new identities with uh, those that were lacking in the source data so if I look here again you can see that now we have created uh, new identities 3, 4 and 5 and associated these with uh, the dishes here and uh, I've also flagged these as not being known uh, before. So from this uh, it should be pretty straightforward to move on uh, uh, loading the data into the data warehouse into the different attribute tables. Uh, the anchor table already has these uh, identities created now thanks to the store procedure. Uh, 